Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm so excited today. We're gonna share some uh, old cars, maybe some of my favorite cars. We're gonna go through some of the ones from the last couple of years. Um, ones that I've already got open. We're not gonna open anything new today. I'm not gonna open anything old today, but stuff I've already had open um, that uh, you know that I tinker around with here at home and stuff that I think is uh, really awesome. The uh, Maybe one of the first ones we'll look at is a uh, uh, 2018 casting. It's the uh, Datsun Bluebird 510 and it's the uh, Momo livery in red. Uh, that one I really, really enjoy. I, uh, I like these ones a lot. I've got uh, uh, quite a few of these ones. This one I'm actually, uh, I actually painted out the headlights and the taillights and the side marker lights on this one in the grill. And uh, so sometimes I'll play around with those a little bit. And uh, so that one there um, is uh, probably one of my favorite Datsun 510 liveries. I like that one a lot. Next one we're going to look at is a uh, um, the Porsche uh, 356A Outlaw in the red livery. I think this one came out in a five pack or a three pack. Maybe it was a three pack. And this one probably only just came out uh, last year or early this year rather. So that's uh, that one there. Now again, same idea, I have uh, gone ahead and painted out uh, headlights and taillights on this and uh, just to kind of add a bit more detail, but I do have other ones still in, in boxes that I haven't actually opened yet. But again, just tinkering around, playing around with it, can't uh, you know, find, maybe sometimes you just feel like it needs more detail. You always wish that they would paint out or uh, tampo out the headlights and taillights on all these cars. Uh, the next one that I want, you know, one of my favorites from this year was actually the um, uh, 55 Bel Air, or I think this is 55 Bel Air, Bel Air um, in the uh, Holly livery. So again, same idea. I've gone ahead and painted out the headlights and taillights and uh, some of the uh, interior of the engine bay I blacked out just so it's not all red. And uh, so I did that. That's probably one of my favorite um, Bell Air castings from this past year. And uh, going back a few years, uh, I've got a, uh, a Dart, a Dodge Dart and a Red Lines Chrome. And uh, this one here, this one I've had for quite a number of years. That one, um, I, I really liked this one in the Chrome with the Red Lines and the little flame tampos down the sides. That, uh, that one's probably one of my favorite Dodge Dart castings. And then the uh, probably one of my favorite Mustang castings, although you know probably not the coolest Mustang casting, but I like this one because I'm a Bullet fan. And uh, so that one is an M2 fastback in Bullet from the Bullet uh, Green Light. Sorry, that's a Green Light Bullet uh, car. So that one has the uh, the rally rims on it that obviously match the uh, Steve McQueen car and obviously painted out in the dark green paint scheme to match the car. I think the license plate even matches on this particular one. And uh, so here, let's do a couple of old ones. So I think most people uh, can really appreciate a uh, Mustang. And so this one is an old, old casting from the original grouping of Hot Wheels cars. So there you go, your Boss, Haas, Chrome. Now this one's missing the racing stripe and the number on the side, the number on the side was a decal that uh, I think when you were a kid you stuck it on yourself, but the black racing stripes uh, over this one uh, faded and basically peeled off. I probably lost the, uh, the black stripes on this one probably about 10 years ago. Uh, but that one's uh, probably my favorite originals casting. And then I've also got a Matchbox. We'll look at this old one. This is an original Matchbox Lesney, Lesney uh, number 55 of 59 of the original uh, castings. And it's the Ford Galaxy in the Fire Chief livery, red. So that is an old one. I don't know how rare it is. I haven't seen one around. Every once in a while I see one come up on eBay, but nothing 
I don't know, I, did, you don't really, I don't really check them out to see what they cost or anything like that. This one's got a little bit of wear in it. It's uh, a fairly old one. I've had that one for quite a while. And uh, so the next one we'll uh, switch over to, so this one is a Racing Champions, uh, probably, I think this one came out in 1992, but it's a uh, Ford Torino stock car uh, Cobra in the papyrus livery. So this was a car that you could only get if you bought the uh, papyrus NASCAR uh, PC racing game. I believe that's how I got that. It came in or part of the box. Wish I'd kept the box. And then the next one we'll look at, this is Johnny Lightning uh, casting from, I'm gonna say like 1990-ish. Uh, it's a GTO Judge. This one is in yellow with bags and the uh, hood um, taken off and the engine showing. But uh, fully decked out in all the uh, tampos. Uh, Kind of like uh, what you would expect to see in the original car. Uh, headlights and taillights all tampoed out, uh, door handles, you know, that sort of thing. Even the door or the window trim, the chrome around the windows is all tampoed in this one. Uh, so I really enjoy that. And then keeping in a 70s theme, I've got another, uh, well, this one's a 67 Chevy Chevelle. It's a Racing Champions. This one is. Uh, probably one of the coolest Chevelles I think I've got. So it's got uh, opening hood, uh, you can see it's tampoed on the hood, it's got the uh, vinyl top on it, and all full tampo details all the way around, and you know, kind of an original looking rally wheel. That one is pretty awesome. And then at the same time, we've got Racing Champions, uh, the Pontiac, uh, Pontiac GTO, 1966. And again, same idea, this one has the opening hood, and the vinyl top, uh, that one's pretty awesome too. Really enjoy these ones. Uh, I love to just uh, stare at these. These are probably some of the coolest car. You just don't find these ones anymore, unfortunately. They don't have this kind of collection anymore with these kind of details on them. And then the next one we'll look at is also Racing Champions. It's a 66 uh, Pontiac Firebird. Again, same idea with the opening hood and the, this one's got a white vinyl roof uh, on it. But again, you know, super, super cool details on these with the high output stripe on the side and Firebird emblems and all the tampos all the way around just like they should be. And then we'll move back over to some Hot Wheels. I've got a 68 Nova. Now, this is an older casting from a Redline series. It's got the uh, gloss black hood. I've seen many, many, many of these ones with the uh, almost like a metallic yellow paint and the stripes on the side. But what I haven't seen is anything like this one with the tampos on it. So it's got an STP, Edelbrock, Excel, and I um, can't recall what the other tampos are on that, but and a Goodyear tampo. But that, I've never seen another one with these tampos on it. So I, you know, when I bought this one, this one is a little bit unique. I'm not sure if somebody put these stickers on it and painted out the side markers and the front and back marker lights. I don't know if that was something somebody did. If this is not an original, I've never, ever, ever been able to find another one like this one. And uh, we'll go to, uh, let's look at a Camaro. I've got a Camaro. Uh, this one is also a Johnny Lightning and it's a 1967 Camaro. And this one here uh, features opening hood and a metallic powder blue with the uh, rally stripe around the front and the SS logos on it, um, fully decaled out with the uh, headlight taillight uh, package and uh, door lock and door handle markers and the, uh, the vents in the hood. So that's all there. That one's uh, probably one of my favorite Camaro castings that I've got. And um, got another uh, another um, Golf livery Volkswagen van. We've seen this one already on my channel once before, but this one is extremely noteworthy uh, because of the fact that it's Golf and the fact that the uh, wheels on this one are are really authentic looking, but very very well done. This is a green light uh, Vol uh, Volkswagen. Uh, 
I, I can't remember what they call this one. It's like a cargo van. It's not one of their club vans or anything like that, or a camper van. Um, that one is uh, probably my favorite Volkswagen bus. Um, casting. And then I've got uh, I've got a whole bunch more that I just love to look at. This one here, you know, this one's pretty rare. I don't think I've ever, 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 ever seen this anywhere. I can't even remember where I got it. I know I got it at a Toys R Us store and probably sometime when my kids were little kids. So it's got to be at least 25 years old. And the only stamping I can see on the bottom I can't even see any of the stamping on the bottom. It just says made in China and then something else that I can't really read. But this one's a dragster, uh, GTX, Castrol GTX dragster, um, Ford, obviously a Ford car, and uh, has the full opening um, chassis, which is really, really awesome. But very, very detailed, this one. And uh, so that one I love, 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 love this one. And uh, so let's do, I think we'll do one more. Uh, let's see. How about this one? This one's a classic series. It's probably not that old, probably only from uh, maybe uh, 12, 13 years ago. This one is a Camaro from the classic series in the gold with the black racing stripes. Uh, Goodyear tires. They're plastic, uh, nothing special, but uh, again, another Camaro casting that I really enjoy. It's got the opening hood, convertible uh, top that's obviously down. And I think uh, that is uh, maybe all we'll look at today. I think um, this one's probably uh, going a bit long, so we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. So thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, um, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye for now.